been drinking a lot of green tea recently. Hi guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey, what's up, how are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. Hope 2020 is going well so far. Hope seeing a notification that I uploaded a new video, you know, got you excited. <laughs> but hi, this video is just gonna be a quick ramble. I'm just gonna be talking about where I've been the last few months, what I've been doing, how life wanted to just give me gas boost, and I had to gas boost it back and just pick myself up guys it's taken a lot for me to get to this very moment i've just been in a weird space i haven't been able to shake it i haven't been able to get past it i just felt like a dark cloud was just hanging over my head and i contemplated whether i wanted to come back onto youtube or not because this cloud refused to go away i found no joy in doing all the things that I love to do I found no joy in it and I found that constantly every day I had to like force myself to get up and pick myself up and thank God for my husband and Jasmine because they were like a huge factor in me getting up and get getting going does that even make sense but yeah we'll continue guys I must say I'm still not 100% um, but at least I'm better than where I was last week, the week before, last month, last year. And in all things, I, I'm constantly grateful. In all things, I am grateful to God that he kept me and I am here. And I think that knowing that I am still here is the was the hmm, I needed to come and make this video. And it's never too late. It's never too early. It's never too in between right now is the perfect time and i think if, you, if, I, if you're going to take anything away from this video is right now is the perfect time there's no better now time than right now the last video i made i was in the uk and and i was living life i was in the uk i've been through two very traumatic experiences and i thought i had scaled through i thought i had breezed through i thought that you know i'd come through like a champion I thought that I dealt with the situation that happened and it turned out that I lied to myself I kind of kind of buried my trauma I surrounded myself with family with work with you know my sister had a new baby my heart he has my heart and I kind of surrounded myself with them and I let's just say distracted myself keyword being distracted I didn't give myself time to heal over what had happened and I kind of felt like everyone had moved past it so I should have moved past it and I didn't realize that I hadn't until I came back to Nigeria and we came back we had to find a new place and I'm so grateful to God guys like every single day I thank God I'm so grateful to God that after what happened like I had the financial means like we were financially we were financially able to like move out of our house even though we just paid our rent a few months earlier we had money to do that so yeah i'm thankful for that um so it was so i came back we started looking for a new place we didn't find a, a, a place as quickly as we envisioned and i couldn't stay in abuja so i went to lagos and i stayed in lagos for about two three months and it's weird because throughout the whole thing i um throughout the whole thing like i said i hadn't dealt with it and it wasn't until i i came back we found a place i moved back to abuja like throughout this time i've been surrounded with people i'd had people around me and it wasn't until the day where it was just jasmine and i in our brand new house that it dawned on me that, D, what's going on? My paranoia, guys. Hmm. I didn't know paranoia was such a big thing. My paranoia, my anxiety. I was so anxious. And I was in a, such a weird, weird space where I couldn't sleep. I couldn't go out. I felt paralyzed. 
every time I had to go out, like I would be shaking, my heart would be here, I'd be, I'd be, it's so difficult to explain because even till now, guys, I'm still in that space, but I found ways to kind of cope with it. I'd have panic attacks, anxiety attacks, and I just couldn't shift the feeling. And I kept on praying that God, like, take this away. I don't want it. I, guys, ugh, I was just down and i'll be honest with you guys and this whole process i learned that i wasn't as close to god as i thought i was um i my relationship with god wasn't as strong as i thought it was and i spent the last few months kind of rediscovering my relationship with god i've gone back and forth with him i've questioned him i've quite I've asked God really difficult questions um, and some of them I don't have answers yet some of them I do have answers and it's crazy because we live in this world that is so fickle this world is so fickle like in the snap of your fingers like things change things happen people are living people are dead it's in a split second and I found myself in this place where I was just questioning God that why 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 and trauma is one of those things that people with deal with trauma differently and I kept on I was kind of fighting myself as well that ah, why are you not over it is it only you is it only you that has been in an accident is it only you that they've robbed and I kept on even thinking that people were like ah, get your shit together it's been enough time enough time of past has passed for you to be back 100% and God made me realize that it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get over something, it's your own timeline. The way you get over things will be different to the way the next person gets over things. If you feel like you're not over it yet, don't let anybody make you feel like you should be over it. Don't make, let anybody make you feel like, you know, you should be over it and you should have moved on. If you haven't moved on yet, that's, that's fine as long as you know in your heart, in your heart that you are doing everything that you can to move past it and get over it and to deal with it that is all that matters that's basically what's been happening i moved to a new place um and it's been a bit fun trying to get it to look homey trying to put it together it's still not where i wanted to be some people are owing me furniture some people are owing me items but there's still so much more i want to do to the house and hopefully i get it done and then i'll give you guys a tour um, yeah, I'm sure you guys are wondering. Jasmine is good. She's growing so much. She's one of the reasons I get up every day. I'm really grateful to God. I'm really grateful for you guys as well. I have had new subscribers messaging me that, D, you're moved back to Nigeria series. I watched part one, part two. Where's part three? I've had people like messaging me and praying for me and telling me to take my time and I really really appreciate that I appreciate every single one of you it's not been easy the last six months and I think oh god I said I wasn't gonna cry um the last the last six months hasn't been easy and I found myself living a lie it took someone coming up to me and saying D like the light is there but it's not quite bright for me to realize that i needed to work out some stuff i had to go back to the things i loved find the things i loved again and start doing them here i am doing something that i love so dearly something that is that was once my happy place i had conversations with so many people that i don't think i'm going to come back to youtube and i don't think it's for me it's changed so much i think i need to find something else to do and i've had this conversation with several people and now i realize that i was just trying to trying to discourage myself from doing what i love and what i enjoy because i didn't want to like the dark cloud over me just didn't want to do anything and the cloud is not gone yet um i still have a lot of anxiety um and but i'm working through it guys i just want you guys to know that i'm working through it and yeah but yeah so hope you guys are doing well leave a comment down below let me know how you are doing what you're up to how your new year is going i don't make new year's resolutions 
um, because I just don't. If you make New Year's resolutions, leave, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know how it's going. Cheers to 2020 being the best year yet. yet and um, to love, to good health, to success, to wealth, to money, to joy, unspeakable, love, unimaginable and all that good stuff. I think I can leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.